Bailey Vines, I'm a member of the women's swimming and diving team. Alright Bailey, I'm going to ask you a few questions today. Okay. Did you know that growing up you wanted swimming to be your main sport? My parents kind of put me into it. Both my brothers swam before I was born and they just wanted us to learn and I kind of enjoyed it. We got good so we just decided to keep going with it. Okay. What is a day of the life like in the swimmer as far as practices and workouts go? It's hard. Um, we double Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so we go 6 to 8 in the morning and then 2 to 5 at night. We single Tuesday, Thursday, just swimming at night. And then on Saturday, we do about 7 to 11. And then we have weights, and dry land, thrown in on different days, so it's pretty intense. Okay. Do you have any workouts that are specific to your stroke, which is backstroke? Yes, I do. Um, and also, we split into like distance, mid distance, and sprint, and we get to do that about three times a week. But now that we're tapering, preparing for conference, it's more stroke specific and getting down to what we do and do technique and that stuff. Do you have any superstitions or routines that you have to do before a meet? I do. I'm actually really superstitious, which is bad, but I. If I'm not swimming well, I will usually change my cap to get something else. And if I basically eat the same thing for breakfast every single meet. Um, I do the same stretch routine. So I do quite a few, which is probably not the best, but it helps me get focused and prepared and know that I'm ready to swim. Um, how has being on the DU swim team made you a better athlete? Uh, being a Division One athlete anywhere is just such a step up from where you've been. And just the dry land is more intense, the weights are more intense, practice is more intense, and you know, they, the coaches expect high things from you, and you expect better things for yourself and the team, so it's just really prepared me to be in better shape and more team-oriented, I suppose. Is it hard for you to balance school and swimming? Have you learned any like good time management tricks? It is hard, especially in college. I wasn't really expecting it to be as hard, but because swimming has just become such a time commitment, um, you just really have to be on top of your things and make sure that you know what you're doing and understand that you miss a lot of school and tests for meets and be prepared to deal with that. So. When you have free time, what do you like to do? <laughs> when I do? Um, I actually don't like to do anything because I'm just so tired. It sounds really bad. I'm always so tired. You just want to kind of rest and chill and have time to yourself. What is your most memorable experience on being the women's swim team member? <laughs> we, um, probably the most memorable is when we beat Colorado State at home this year. Colorado State is a really good team and we're always in a rivalry with them. So this year we, we handled them pretty well and we all swam to probably the best that we've done in the season. So it was really fun and we are all pretty excited after. Tell me about when you broke the 200 medley relay this past year. <laughs> we were in Iowa, of course, during when everybody else was gone, but we get to swim during the break. So, um, I actually didn't know I was going to be on the A relay. Brian just told me right before, so I just kind of jumped up there and we all just sprinted. and It was really unexpected. We didn't know we broke it until he told us, so it was really exciting. Do you have any future dreams or goals for swimming? Um, I really want to make NC2As. Um, always, you know, a goal for this year, but if not, before I end my collegiate career. So hopefully we get to that and get some relays there and really just try to bring up Denver Women's Swimming Program to be, you know, more nationally recognized. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you.